Alright, so today I'm talking drum gear. What drum gear do I usually use when I'm playing out with my band Tightly Wound? First, I want to start with hardware. What hardware do I use? Why do I use it? And keep in mind, this isn't me flexing on you or me bragging about what I have. This is just what I choose to use. This is what, what I like to use and just what works for me and my budget also. And I built up this gear over probably 10 years of playing. So don't think that this is me bragging at all about what I have. Now I use DW hardware pretty much for everything except for my drum throne. It starts from DW3000 series all the way up to DW9000 series hardware. Like my snare stands. Both of my snare stands are DW3000 series. They just happen to be what I could afford at the time and they do the job and they're solid and they just fit well with everything else that I use. Pedals, let's talk pedals. For bass drum pedals, I use DW9000 series while I'm playing with my band. I also have a DW5000 series double pedal, which I also love very much, but the 9000 just is less stress on my ankles and my calves. When I'm playing fast gent style like patterns on my pedal, it's less strain on my legs and my feet. However, I use the 5000 when I'm going out to play church gigs or I'm going out to play things with my friends just that are a little more chill. And my hi-hat stand, that is a DW5000 series pedal also. Um, and honestly, I choose that over the 9000 series because, yeah, there's a little bit more finesse in the 9000, but it's not, it doesn't do a whole bunch for me to justify the price difference. <clears throat> Cymbal stands, both my crash on my left and the crash ride on my right are both DW9000 series stands. And are those, do you have to buy that? No. That's what I choose to use because they're the heaviest stands that I could find also with an infinitely adjustable tilter and that tilter doesn't have any teeth specifically to, to like lock it in place so I can put it exactly where I want every time and that is a game changer for me personally also the seat of the symbol where the symbol sits on you know there it, you can adjust how much that clamps down on your symbol and a small thing also is the little wing nut on top is that you can spin it all you want and it won't fly off the stand that's just another little detail that DW adds, you know? And drum thrones. I use a rock and sock drum throne, you know, the, the fun butt shaped ones, which the, uh, when I'm playing longer practices and playing longer gigs, I want something that's gonna be super comfortable the whole time. I have a DW stand I'm sitting on right now. It's great, but after a while, it just it's not as comfortable. And I want something that's comfortable for a couple hours sometimes, just in case. Also, my China symbol, my stand for my China symbol, DW, that's a DW3000 series stand. And it's not a primary stand, but it's another one that I had left over after I upgraded. So all of my hardware that I play out with my band, except for my drum throne, is DW. And that's just my choice. I, choose, chose, I chose to have it uniform all the way across the board. I chose them because they're heavy duty. They won't bend or break. At least I've never had it happen to me. Um, over my several years of playing. I've been playing drums for about 10 years, so You know, it's it's just my choice RDW hardware expensive? Hex yeah, they're expensive for one cymbal stand. I think I paid 169 for it So that's two of those th the 3000 series are cheaper cheaper the snare stands are about 80 bucks maybe per stand the 9000 series pedals I got them on sale for five something which knew they're all about six hundred dollars my five thousand series pedals i got them for, uh, for a steal for like four of twenty new and you can probably find them used cheaper other places or you know buy them second hand from somebody else and they'd be cheaper obviously moving on to symbols what kind of symbols do i use i actually have two setups that i kind of use i only have one set of hi-hats the, the minor dark byzantz hi-hats 14 inch and I love those things. They're so earthy and so just chunky and they cut and they're just, they're great hi-hats. What do I use for crashes? Well, my brighter setup, I have a 20 inch A custom Zildjian crash symbol. Um, the true and faithful, you know? 
Um, for ride symbols, I have a I have a 21 inch anniversary ride symbol, and that thing is amazing. It cuts. It has great stick definition, and it's great for recording. It sounds great on demos that I've done. My other set, which is kind of more for my worship setup or my you know my just indie gig setup or practice setup, I have a 21 inch Zildjian Avitas 21 inch a Sweet Ride. And that thing is amazing. It's held up all the way through high school and all the way through college for me. And it's a great symbol, both for a crash and a nice light ride. And then I have a Dark K Custom 19 inch medium thin crash. And that thing is butter. If I could afford all Ks, I probably would, but I can't. Most of the really expensive symbols I've gotten second hand or I've found good deals at Guitar Center for them. I know buying through Guitar Center, but sometimes I like to do it because I can test it out and physically see what shape it's in. And to me, that's a big deal. For my China, I used to use, way back in the day, I used the 21 inch Peisty Rude China, which was super loud and obnoxious. Then I went down to this super cheap 14 inch, the cheapest China symbol that I could find. Um, and now I actually play on an Oriental 18 inch China tr crash, trash symbol and that thing is amazing. Um, it cuts, it fades out when I need it to, it's bright sounding. Mm. And all those ride symbols average about $300 per ride. Crashes vary from $200 to $300 depending on which kind of symbol you're getting. You know, K's cost almost $350. Um, there's this really nice 22 inch K ride that I know costs $500. The A customs are fairly cheap and they cut and they do exactly what I need it to. The Byzance hi hats are about $400, $425 I think I paid during Black Friday, something around there. So it's pretty reasonable for hi hats. Uh, and mine, you can't go wrong with Minel or Zildjian really. Both are great. I also love the Zildjian K darks. Those are fantastic and I almost bought some a little while ago. Great symbols. To the rest of my drums, my kick and my wrecking floor tom. For my travel kit, I use a Tama Superstar, like an old, a really old kit that my old roommate used to have. And I was like, I was like, dude, that set's awesome. And what it is, is it's just a Tama. The, the kick is 24 inches in diameter, which is awesome. A standard is 22 for those that don't know. It's only about 16 inches deep and to have a kick that shallow, but have such a deep punch to it, has great response for the fast kind of music that I play. And to have a deep thump with a quick response, it doesn't get much better than that. That's awesome. I have a DW Performance Steel Shell Snare Drum. It's a seven by 14, sorry, it's an eight by 14, um, or 14 by eight, however you wanna, 14 by eight, however you wanna say it. And uh, it's a deep, punchy cracky snare and I love cranking that top head and getting that snap but but that depth that it gives that punch for breakdowns it's a fantastic snare and it's got great dynamics too my other snare that I love a lot is my Orange County 7x14 or 14x7 however you want to say it that thing and it's 10 plies that is a maple 10 ply snare punchy fast cracky it's oh it's so nice for one a standard 10 ply uh, 14 by six and a half uh, snare and that that just came with my Avalon kit also for that Tama kit deeper rack Tom I believe it's a 12 by 10 uh, diameter or 12 by 9 dimension um, it's very deep standard 12 inch though and in diameter um, and then I have a 16 by 16 floor Tom on that and that thing gives a punch when you do those metal fills that just like just go through that's the kind of kick that's the kind of kick floor tom combo you want it's <clears throat> what kind of sticks do i use usually i use vic firth 55 a's these are 5 a's depending on the gig generally i stick with 55 a's though because for my hand size it's generally a good healthy in between between a 5b and a 5a so it gives you that beef kind of of the 5b's but it for me with smaller hands it kind of helps with more maneuverability so i like it like that for drum mics i use the shore beta 52 for my kick and i use shore sm 57s for my toms and snare um, and hi-hats uh, when i do demo work and then for my overhead i use a rode nt1a it's a pretty affordable mic but 
As, large, as far as large diaphragm condenser mics go, that's great. It does what I need it to for demos and it, you know, it just works. For my snare drum, I use a Wolfpack fly foam like snare bag, you know, it's, it does what I need it to just protect my snare a little bit. Eventually I'd like, I'd like to get a hard shell case for it or for one of them, but you know, I'm pretty broke. So, you know, I can't, I can't afford it right now, but <laughs> disclaimer, as a drummer, you're always broke. One of my kicks fit in my carrying bags. I use Roadrunner bags, just the soft bags for now. Uh, if I upgrade my kit, then yeah, I'm gonna be upgrading to harder shell cases, but for now, it does the job for what I need it to. For my cymbal bag, I use a, a head cymbal bag, and those that bag is great. It has great protection inside the bag for my cymbals, and it's soft, and it, I can wear it as a backpack if I need to, or sling it over my shoulder, and it's a great bag. Holds all of my cymbals in one bag. Fantastic. For my hardware case, um, <clears throat> I think it's an SKA abbreviated. It's a it's a standard hard hard shell hardware case, and it's got wheels and a handle. And let me tell you, all of my hardware fits in that one case. So instead of making ten trips out to my car to get my hardware, it's all there. I just have to wheel in that one case, and all of my hardware is there. And I just need to set up inside or outside the venue, and there it is. It's ready to go. And I, <clears throat> I took that on a trip, and we loaded this van up to the very brim, and set, they set a guitar amp on it, and all my hardware was fine. It's a great carrying case. All my hardware fits in that one case. Yes, please. Full disclosure. Also, this none of this is sponsored. This is just what I like to use. My opinions, totally my opinions on this hardware and this gear. And you know, there's tons of alternatives. Uh, if you're a Cobra guy, if you're an Iron Cobra or Tama guy buy that stuff you know if that's what you like to use this is just what I like to use and also all of the stuff that I use is not helping me in inherently be a better drummer obviously all of this takes a ton of practice a lot of time and if you're not putting in the hard work and the hours that's on you and you're not going to improve if you don't put in the hours through high school and college I put in so much time at the kit and on a drum pad to get to where I am now and I still have tons of improvement to go. I'm not there by any means, but it's definitely a good start. And I feel I feel decent enough in my abilities and you know, it's just always working, just always trying to get that next step. So just remember all of the gear that I use, all of the gear that I purchase has a reason, has its place in my lineup and why I need it. Um, it's not just whimsical and it's not just, hey, this is, you know, I just want to get this to be awesome or look cool or be a professional. No, there's a reason and a use for everything that I buy. So yeah, that's about it. Comment down below. See, I want to see what you guys use. I, I wanted to make a video like this because I'm kind of a gearhead and I like to know, I like to see other people's rigs and see what they use. And I thought, hey, I'll make one and say this is the drum gear that I use, you know. And so uh, comment down below, let me know what you use or comment links so I can check out some of your videos of what you guys use. Thanks for watching, see you guys later.